Welcome to the channel everybody um, I guess I want to do these videos like this here and there So I guess this is the first video I want to do right now about myself showing my both hands on how to do something That way I can start a different way to do videos If you like this idea you can use the comment section below and give me your opinions about it I'm gonna start by talking about what is the AC compressor on one of my videos of the series of fate i talk about on removing the clutch the clutch is not here that, that's why this ac compressor looks completely weird just have a curiosity on how it's like a ac compressor from the inside today i'm going to take it apart uh, keep in mind then i haven't taken apart this ac compressor at all so i wanna it's gonna be my first time doing it so the ac compressor have the clutch over here the clutch is already removed as i said before so that part is is gone but to remove the clutch and everything is kind of hard so you have to do so much effort to do that so after you remove the clutch you got clean access but is the compressor itself and the ac compressor is held by these bolts over here you have one two three four five bolts and are holding the ac compressor well these other bolts over here they are holding the side which are another two so basically it's going to be seven bolts in total so we have to remove these two bolts over here and then you have to remove these two bolts so let's start on it and see how it's like so i'm going to be using a 5 16 socket to remove this one Okay, so you can clearly see how the AC compressor is divided. The AC compressor is divided in four different pieces. The front plate over here, this middle plate over here, this other medium plate, and the last plate over here. So there are four different pieces. So these bolts over here are the ones that are holding the medium plates over here. So you can just leave them if you want. And I'm pretty sure you can take this one apart. So that's what we're gonna do to prevent that. So I'm gonna leave one over here just in case something happens. So now we're gonna remove all this. But before doing all this, what we're gonna do is to get one loose and now we're gonna tighten it like this and get the other one over here and tighten it. This is just to prevent in case there is something like a spring or something so it can jump and it can hit us so with these bolts over here it can be retained so that's the only reason so now we can remove the other bolts over here and this other here so see there is three bolts over here and there is a little washer over here well the washer their bolts and everything so now See, this one comes up completely, see, see, you can clearly see, see, so it moves completely, so that means that we can take these two bolts completely out with no worries, these bolts just were, as I said before, to prevent in case this just jump, because there is something like a spring or something, if you don't pay attention to that, it can actually hit your head or something, and then you want to have some kind of like, problems later so now we can take this one apart see this is the main cover of the uh, AC compressor and this one is a gasket see this over here on the back this is just going to be something for the shaft on the back I'm pretty sure See, it is just another cover for the shaft on the back and you have another uh, gasket over here in this case these gaskets are the same there is no much difference see they look exactly the same so and then you have a bearing here that's for the shaft this one is going to rotate see because of the shaft is connected and you can see how the AC compressor is moving there see that is the AC compressor moving from here so when the AC works this shaft moves at a specific speed so 
when this shaft move like we can say like 1500 rpms this little orifice over here are going to create pressure this gasket is not just a gasket this is going to be a, a valve gasket that is gonna go right here you see over there how that one is sealing over here I don't know right here you see the gasket it goes right there the, this part is this one and then when you put it over here it seals that little orifice so that is because that is like a valve and then when that valve opens it, it, it releases the pressure so it's going to release the pressure to this surface over here over here in this center over here and this center over here and from this center is going to go to the main shaft over here of the compressor over here where the pressure is going to be this one over here this is the suction so that means that this is where, where the low pressure is and this is the uh, the the pressure size so this is where the compressor works so over here when you rotate this one you want to have pressure over here you want to have suction so what i'm gonna do now is to take this ball apart so we can take this one completely apart and see how this one looks from the inside so let's take this ball out it doesn't want to come out at all it looks like there is something else holding it probably is the shaft probably that's what it is the main shaft over here the one is holding it so after applying some pressure with this screwdriver the whole plate came off so the whole thing you can see you can see the bolts right here see these are bolts they open and close so uh, this one's right here see this is like for the pressure size so that's how the AC compressor creates the pressure and this is another gasket this is another gasket and it has the I think this is another kind of gasket yeah see it's like a the valve body this is like a valve body gasket so it's controlling the valve so if the AC compressor is working and uh, you having no pressure at all these things are the ones that are going bad along with this one right here so these are two different gaskets they have the valve bodies of the AC compressor you can clearly see these little things moving see that's how they move it's kind of funny to see it so that means then this side we can remove it as well yeah see same thing and we have the ball body here too same way and we have this these are like a little pistons oh so still this one doesn't open see yeah still this one doesn't open so why this one doesn't open probably i think it's still because of this the shaft because it's holding the bearing in here and it's holding the bearing in here too so maybe what i have to do is to uh hit this one to push it inside because over here it has like a little group so this one is uh smaller in the in diameter so maybe i can hit it and it goes in let me try Oh, came off. All right, perfect. See now I got it off. This plate is off, and uh, we can see the bearing in there. That's the bearing, and this is for the pistons. These are going to be pistons and are pushing everything. See over here and now we are going to have this one exposed 
See now you can clearly see how he moves around, see? So let's try to get this one off. Yeah, right there, see? See, so this is the AC compressor. So these things over here are the bearings, are the bearings, and this one flowed. They flow over this thing over here, and they need the oil. That's the reason you need to put oil in the AC system so they don't get destroyed. So you can clearly see how it works. So there is many of these. I don't know how these people work on this. You know, can you imagine when everybody like the people then is putting this together? How hard it is to put these little things together? That is some serious work there. They have, I'm pretty sure they have the tools, right? But it's going to be hard anyway. Let me take this one off right here. See, see, and that's the shaft. And now the AC compressor is completely apart. So here we have what is the AC compressor when it's completely apart. The pulley of the AC compressor, the clutch of the AC compressor, the clutch plate of the AC compressor, gaskets of the AC compressor, the rear plate, the front plate, the head gasket, we can call this one a plate, pressure plate, probably. Bearings, see, another gasket. The main block, this is going to be the main block. This is where the pistons are going to rotate over here. The pistons. These are the pistons and the crankshaft, as I think it's called, right? I don't know if it's called a crankshaft. Okay, this is the way, when it's working fast, this is the way it looks like. It's working super fast and this one is over here moving the same way this one is moving. Up and down, up and down, up and down. See how an AC compressor looks completely apart. So now you have an idea how your AC compressor on your Cascadia looks if you destroy it. Because after this, I won't be able to put it together. <laughs> it was just a demonstration on how it, it looks like from the inside. I don't know, curiosity I have, so I wanna continue doing videos like this. But if you think these are videos are helpful, you can use the comment section below and leave your uh, opinions about this video. And uh, let me know in the description and in the, in the comment section. Uh, that way I can continue making videos like this Probably are going to be helpful for you at least to know something if you want to know how something works You have to actually see it on your own and that way you can understand what are the problems Because by this I can understand where when the pressure there is no pressure It could be here because of there when there is a leak from a gasket because this one when the this one gets stuck It will be because of one of these bearings went bad so that's the reason why it's important to understand how everything looks. Do you like the video? Make sure to hit that like button. That way I can feel confident that this video is helpful for you. And if you don't like it, well, I mean, I'm listening to it, right? If you want to help my channel, you can use the description section. And there I have details how to send support to my channel. So I can continue doing things like this, you know, uh, showing you how something works. Uh, comment. If you have any doubts about it or you have anything else to add about this video, you can comment below so you, other people can understand more about this topic. And share the video is very important so other people can understand uh, about this. People that doesn't have the ability to, to search or know where to find this uh, information. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos like this.